In this video, I'm going to give you tips and a strategy on how to fight Arceus for the end of the game after you capture every single Pokemon. Now you should know that this fight is cruel, it's very fast paced and it's hard. So if you are not good at dodging, you're going to have trouble. So I highly recommend before you start this fight, go speak to this old lady Lucille by the well here and ask her for faint less frequently. These are charm items that you can buy. The first one costs 3,000, the second one costs 8,000, the third one costs 15, and I think the fourth one costs 25, and I don't even know what the fifth one is. I, I just bought four of them because I knew this was going to be a rough fight. You just got to make sure you have all four of these charms in your inventory so that you don't faint by taking lots of damage from Arceus. So to begin the fight all you have to do is go to the Temple of Sinnoh where you fought the other previous legendaries and you basically go up to this icon and you will start the, the fight. So let's get right into the fight here. So as you start, he will summon these rings. You got to dodge over them so that they don't damage you, but he will also shoot meteorites at you, which are marked with a red circle location. The meteorite lands a bit later, so you can actually stand in the red stuff. You just shouldn't be there when the bomb goes off. I recommend throwing one bomb each time you jump over one of those things and wait for the next one to jump over. You can actually throw two bombs, but it is very difficult with the timing. Here is me actually at the end of the fight throwing two bombs at a time and dodging his stuff it is really difficult to do this it looks easier on screen but trust me it is not I was practically crying inside so after a short time he will summon this thing above his head now these things will shoot like these following lasers you have to dodge just before they hit you so wait for the sound and then dodge like give it a little bit of spacing now I'm gonna play that back to you now he does this thing six times so make sure you're always running and dodging at this timing at this interval just so that you nail it, because that's the hardest one to dodge. From here, he should go back into his phase of doing the rings and the meteorites just like this. For most of the time, he will actually swap between those two attacks for a while until he gets to his first different phase. Okay, so for this next phase, he will turn red, and then he will teleport to one side of the arena, probably opposite where he's looking. Now make sure you head there immediately, because he will summon a, a ring outside of his like safe zone, and he will explode that area. It's also a good time for you to throw as many bombs as you can. And then he will disappear. Now here is a bit tricky, because he will spawn in the middle here through these cracks, and he will fly at you. So as he breaks through, you want to dodge at the last second. Now be careful here, because he immediately used this thing on me, and I was actually not prepared. He caught me off guard with that one. He should then do his area of effect thing here again, so stay close to him as soon as he disappears. Anytime he's red, you need to be standing near him as much as possible. When he does this, you'll see there's three different splits here. You're going to go for the one that has the open ring over here. It's usually the one on the right. So you go in here, you kind of have to just wait, go to the second one here. You can't really attack them, so just wait in this little area until you get to the final one. The final one is where you can actually throw your, your bombs at it to break those orbs on top of its head. If you don't break those orbs, it's going to explode. And then from here, you can just use your Pokemon to bring it down so they can get a free bomb throwing period. From now on, he'll basically just repeat most of those attacks, though be warned, when he gets towards the end of the health, or if you're rematching him, he will do a super powerful attack, which is this one. So essentially what's happening here is it's summoning these rings that go across. I was actually scared to go inside because I thought everything was getting damaged, but you can actually just jump over these rings like this. You shouldn't get too far from Arceus because he's also about to explode, so you actually want to throw bombs at him to break those flying orbs around him, and then you can also battle him. And that's everything you need to know on how to beat Arceus. It's really just all about your speed, your timing, and your dodging and everything like that and finding time to throw your bombs. So do a few practice rounds. And there's no harm in just rematching over and over until you get it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Good luck and thank you so much for watching.